Hi, thanks for joining me. The lever is a very simple machine. Today we're going to be drawing the three different types and I'll show you a really easy way to remember them at the end. Let's get started. Place the splat on your starting point and draw a right hand line and then extend that so it's two edges long. Great, now come back to the starting point and go half a splat out to the left. Let's do the same on the far end of the line and we'll just join those together. Let's try a freehand line. Great to practice those free hands. From three points we're going down, short line and there. Let's join those again with a freehand line. You can use a rule if you like, even add some wood grain. Let's try drawing a weight. Sometimes in science these are called a mass. So let's draw a very short cylinder and call that our weight. We'll be using those today. Here's the fulcrum. It really could be positioned anywhere under the beam. And the beam will rock on that. Let's draw ours in the middle. So from halfway along that line, let's draw a guideline down and then a horizontal line. Join that up to make a triangle and go backwards to make it a triangular prism. Let's colour the fulcrum in yellow. We could add a little bit of shading to that if you didn't have any colour. Next we'll draw a weight down this end. We'll call that our effort. And the force at the other end will be the load. Let's draw two weights down this end. Now it's going to tip over. It's not going to balance. So let's erase that fulcrum and redraw it closer towards the load. That way we'll actually get this beam to balance. A little shadow on this side and if you've got some colour, let's go ahead and make that one yellow. Great, a little shadow under there. Uh, we could make the beam a little bit more 3D looking by adding some shadow down this side or if you have colour pencil, then you could really make it look like timber by adding some timber grain and a cutting line around the outside. Great. So the fulcrum, it's balancing the load. Something weird's happening here. We're using a small force at the effort to balance twice the force from the load. With a small amount of extra force, we can now move that load. And that's why this is called a machine or a simple machine. We're using a very small force, the effort, to move a larger load. There's three possible ways to rearrange those forces, effort, load and fulcrum. When we draw them, you'll see how simple they are. And don't forget, I'm going to show you a way to remember these at the end. Let's draw the beam just like we did previously, only this time I've sped it up and I'm going to use a ruler to see how that looks. Now we'll draw two more beams, some guidelines, and we'll label these. These are called a first order lever, second and third order levers. Let's sketch a use for each of these levers to help us remember them. So the first lever is going to be to lift the wheel of a car. So let's draw a wheel and the metal hole in the car that's called the wheel arch. We'll darken that in behind. Let's extend the uh, lever or the beam and some wood grain. Now we're going to need an effort. So in this occasion we're using a foot. So with nothing more than the weight of a foot, we should be able, given a long lever, be able to lift the load of even a car. But that's not going to move anywhere without a fulcrum. It needs something to rock on. So it doesn't need to be a triangle. Let's uh, create something, maybe a brick. Let's use a brick under there. And if it weren't high enough, how could we get it a little higher? What about a piece of timber? So now with my piece of timber and brick, I should be able to easily lift that car up. That's incredible. These forces are the effort and load. A first order lever always has the fulcrum in between those other two forces. Try to guess what I'm drawing to demonstrate this second order lever. It has a container in the middle and I could fill that with weight or some sort of load. I'm putting a slope at the front and I'm going to make it look hollow inside. 
At the back, I'm cutting some of the wood away to make a really simple kind of handle. And at the front, we're adding one wheel. I'm sure you've guessed it, it's a really simple wheelbarrow. So the wheel not only is a fulcrum, I could use it to transport the load as well. So a wheel on an axle is another type of simple machine. So I'm combining the two into one. Okay, so there's the effort from the handle and the fulcrum at the front. Now let's analyze this. In between the effort and fulcrum, we have the load. So for a second order lever, the load is always in the middle. Next, at this end, I'm drawing or attaching a cylinder and I'm putting a pin right through the middle so that it can swing or pivot on the pin. At this end, I'm drawing a fly swatter. Here in the middle is where I'm going to push, that's my effort, and the pin is going to act as my fulcrum. So as I push down with the effort, the fulcrum will resist that and push up. So the whole um, board will tend to swing downwards and towards the fly. But the fly is resisting, it's pushing back. It's providing the load. A third order lever always has the effort in between the other two forces. The effort is always in between. Let's render this drawing with a little bit of color pencil. Notice the cylinder has a fade to each side. We still draw the cutting line around the outside. And let's draw a little darker right along this edge. A little bit of fade on there as well. And it's looking like a 3D drawing. Let's make the pin look like a metal component. Excellent, you have done so well today. Remember I promised you a really easy way to remember these. It's actually a very common saying, FLE. So the first order lever has F or the fulcrum in between and so on. So just write FLE, put a one, two, three, and that's how you remember. Easy, so awesome. I hope you had a great time drawing with me today. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and um, turn on your notifications. So thanks guys. I will see you next time for some more drawing in 3D, some more STEM activities. I'm Glenny e. D. Have fun and bye for now.